Hey YouTube, we're back. It's Robert, A1 Locksmith, Frisco, Texas. Today I'm going to talk about briefly some push button locks, keypad, electronic, everybody's got a different name for it. We're going to talk specifically about SG products, Sargent and Greenleaf, company here in America. I'm going to look at some locks that are commonly used on, say, Liberty safes, and even us as a locksmith company that we use often on many manufacturers' products. So we're going to start right at right at this lock right here. This is the Sargent and Greenleaf. Let me see, make sure you can see this real good. This is a Sargent and Greenleaf D drive. All right, and D is for direct. Okay, push button. It's got your simple one through nine uh, with the zero. It's got the star, it's got pound. Now here's some cool things about this lock that I kind of like. Right here, it's got a good shot. Right here, it's a light bulb. We push that and simply we have a little red glowing light so we can push that in the middle of the night so if we had to get up or we need to get into it we don't have to turn on every light in the house to find it. Okay so the red light again very helpful very useful it goes off by itself um, I like that a lot. Uh, the beep can be uh, dulled down or lessened in volume you can let, make it a little bit quieter you can make the beeps go away when you're pushing numbers on the keypad um, people seem to like that a lot too. This is how we get into this. Uh, six digit combination followed by pound. We heard a click. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna rotate the outer ring. And you'll notice, let's zoom in. We've got an unlocked padlock here. We've got a locked padlock here at 12 o'clock. And so it's kind of like this large bubble or a little bit extra plastic on the side. It's kind of that indicator. So when I rotate this, now you can see that again. So this bubble, this extra piece of plastic is the indicator of where I am. I'm in the unlocked position. So now I can turn the handle and we're in. Okay. So the only thing to remember about this lock though, is that when you're done with it, you can't just simply close the door and turn the handle. That's not enough. You need to rotate that outer ring. So look for that large piece of plastic. Get the beep beep. That's locked, and then of course the plastic again is indicating that we're in the locked position. So that's really cool. The reason that we're doing that is that years ago they had a large solenoid inside of their locks. Uh, the solenoid did all the work and it would pull the bolt um, straight up. And it was that solenoid that would fail, and as locksmiths, uh, we were opening these religiously. Um, so years ago, if you'd asked me, uh, if you'd asked most any locksmith or safe guy, you know, hey, which lock do you prefer? Honestly, I would have told you mechanical because I wasn't having a great success with uh, the electronic locks. Now, that all kind of changed. I think it was like, uh, it was about 2008, late 2008, early 2009, we started rolling with products like uh, the D-Drive and a great success, really good success. Um, six digit code, pound, and you're in. They're easy to change yourself. Do it as often as you want to. Um, the battery, very easy to uh, get to. Uh, when it's time to uh, change it, right here we've got a 9 volt battery, really simple. Um, pop it back in there and it's good to go. Your code stays, uh, remains the same. Uh, everything still works as it did before you change the battery. Click, turn, and it's good to go. like that a lot. Again, that's Sergeant Greenleaf's D drive. Um, and again, D standing for direct. Now, right here, another one, very comparable. Everybody's used to seeing this one, um, the E-Lock uh, from Sargent and Greenleaf. This guy right here, very simple to use. Six-digit combination followed by pound. We get the click, we turn the handle, and we enter. Very nice, very easy to use. Uh, we close the door, turn the handles, beep, beep. It locks automatically. So you've got the option there. The difference is, is that this is what's known as a pivot bolt style. Again, same thing. They reworked it all, came back out with it. Instead of a big solenoid pulling the bolt up and down, uh, we just got a simple pivot bolt that works from uh, when we enter pound. There's a little arm that moves out of the way. So this allows the bolt to be uh, pivoted, exactly how it's called, pivot bolt. Uh, when you turn the handle, it pivots and pushes that bolt out of the way. It, too, has the built-in red light. Really useful feature. Again, battery changing is very easy. Uh, again, nine volt battery, always recommend her. So you've heard me say it before in other videos, this is not a name drop. This is what we have seen issues with and not with. The, right there. 
battery goes right back in. The battery seems to work really well with these small electronic products. And again, now that we've changed our battery, and put it back in, we're good to go. Uh, real quick, the battery, you know, everybody asks, you know, how long do they last? Well, honestly, I've seen every answer. Uh, I, I've seen six months, I've seen, I've seen two years, I've seen three years, I've seen 10 years, no lie. So batteries are batteries, but again, you're gonna get the best results using uh, the Duracell. Manufacturer says you can remove that battery and leave it without a battery for 10 years, they claim. Uh, it'll still come back and still work with the exact same combination that you had it programmed to. Um, I believe them. Sergeant Greenleaf is a company that is very trustworthy. They've got a record that proves who they are. Also, um, five-year manufacturer's warranty. Uh, when we put these things on, we're covered if we have an issue inside of five years. They're EMP-proof locks as well. People seem to really like that feature. Sergeant Greenleaf started testing for that a few years ago, a couple years ago, and um, you're pretty well covered. Um, you're getting reliability from a trusted name, and they've got a few different options. The locks come in different colors to kind of match the hardware of your safe as well. As well. So again, check them out. Uh, if you've got questions, you've got comments, please, as always, uh, leave them below, and we'll try to make some more uh, educational videos for you guys. Thanks so much.